Hey guys, and welcome back to the farm, and you thought we were gone for good, didn't you? I'm looking at you, that's what you thought, right? Well, you're wrong, because we're back at the farm, and we're back bigger than ever. This is going to be a two-part episode, and this is part one. We're tracking down different types of food this time, looking at different recipes and seeing what kind of food we can get. Now, there's a bunch of food that we haven't quite gotten yet as well, like uh, steaks and types of meat from animals we haven't even met yet. Also, there's more vegetables and more crops to grow, as well as a shindig to have on, and uh, we've got to make a milk facility as well eventually. So that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So sit tight, strap in, plop on your Wellington boots, and let's get farming. Right, okay, so it's time to start thinking about our shindig. And top of the list on the shindig front is food and drink, because when people come over, when we come and have our party, well, the big thing that people are going to want to do is eat some cool food that I've grown here on the farm, some homegrown farm produce, and also some drinks from my brewery. Oh, yeah, some of that rich shindy mead. Right, so let's head to the, um, I'll tell you what first we'll do is we'll head to the storehouse, pick up some of the food in there, and bring it over to the farm shop so that we can start creating some of these awesome cool recipes in the mod pack. Right, so let's see, let's have a fish around through these barrels, see if we can find um, some food in any of these uh, in any of these chests. No, there's no food in here, just shards. And I don't think there's any Thorncraft food. Let's see, oh, gears, no. Don't want to put those in a pie, definitely not. Nothing in there. Pipes, uh, I'm not sure they make a great great pie filling. Oh, but there's some fiberglass, in them. Ooh, ooh, rubber. Ooh. Now, I've had some biscuits that tasted like rubber, but, you know, I don't think we want those to give to our guests. Okay, wood. Uh, maybe not. Oh, look at all those logs, though. We've got so many rich and colourful wood logs. I feel like we should set up a wood museum to show off all the, all the different logs and all the different woods. Let's see, a cobblestone chest, a dirt chest with some saplings and stuff. Building materials, and there won't be anything in here, I don't think. Hey, now, here we are now. Check this out. We've got a bunch of nuts in here that we can take over to the farm chest. We've got um, some eggs. Eggs are useful for food. Melons, of course. Apples, why not? Some mossy comb. Oh, I don't think I'll take that. Uh, some wheat, but we've already got plenty over there, but I'll take some still. Uh, let's see what else. Any, any Anything else in here that's foodie? Kind of seeds. We might be able to make some, some kind of poppy seed uh, a bag of seeds or something for food. Maybe. But for the time being, we're just going to leave the rest of these things in here. And check the next chest. Nothing in redstone. Misc unsorted right now. Oh, yeah. Now, here we've got... Whoa. How did cooked chickens get in here? We've got a bunch of weird kind of random stuff in these chests. So, I'm sure we'll be able to find some food in here. Now, I'll need some chests for at the shindig site to put the food in. The prepared food. The finished food. So, I'll just take those chests. And some signs, I reckon, to decorate the chests and tell us what they are. Uh, what else? Any food in here? Next chest. Oh, there's some bread. And of course, some raw beef. Need that. Oh, hey, some mutton. Lovely stuff. Uh, anything else in here? Some bees, but we don't need bees. We can't eat bees. Well, we, we probably can eat bees, but I wouldn't like to try that. Imagine if they stung your tongue. Oh, man, that would be horrible. Your tongue would swell up and you'd talk like this. Right, okay, so um, let's head over to the farm shop and uh, and put this food in the chests and start looking through some of the recipes in Yogcraft, see what we can actually make pie-wise and cake-wise. Oh, of course, vegetables. Now, how many carrots have I got in here? Oh, plenty of carrots, and my farm is chugging away there in the background, so that's okay. Now, what else? Oh, 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 whoops, that was a mistake, but looks like it worked anyway. Uh, cocoa beans, got a few of those. Mushrooms, some of those. Not many, though. 2 and 18, hmm. Fish and seafood, I've got some legs here I can put back in there. And 15 raw fish, nice. Chicken, beef, and pork, I can put the, uh, put the cooked chicken back in here. Now, I know that's a, a health and safety hazard, putting cooked chicken next to raw chicken, but it's okay, it's only Minecraft, I don't think we're gonna get sick from germs. Eggs, of course. Plenty of eggs for this chest. Now, where am I going to put the melon? Have I got a fruit chest? Vegetables, nuts, cherries, but no fruit chest. Oh, that's a weird one. Pumpkins. Oh, well, there's melon here, so melon can go right there. And I've got a pear as well, so I might as well put the pear there. Apples, they're a fruit too, so I'll put them in here as well. And we can change this sign to melons, fruits, and pumpkins, I guess. Uh, what else? We need nuts. Oh, beef, of course. Beef should go over here. Uh, wheat, we did pick up. There we go. Oh, no, this is full. 
And there's some seeds in here as well. Oh, I see. Sugar cane. Plenty of that. Honey and bee related. Got nothing for that. Cherries and nuts. Here we go. Put nuts in here. And I think the bread goes in the chest over here, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. There's some biscuits and some sliced bread. So we'll put some whole bread rolls, some bread loaves into that chest. And now let's start looking through these recipe lists to see what we can make. Right, so first up, I'm going to start on the meat. So let's get some cooked chicken, some raw beef, and some mutton. And, well, I don't think we need any more chicken because I've got, like, 64, 64. I've got over 100 cooked chickens, so I should be fine for chicken. But the beef could definitely use cooking, so I'm just going to put some beef in the electric furnace here. And I'm going to put some mutton in this one here. Right, so what kind of chicken things can you make? Let's put chicken into here. See what comes up. Chicken sandwich. Chicken nuggets. Oh, yeah. How do you make those? Oh, whoops. That's not what I want to do. There we go. How do you make a chicken nugget? Oh, it doesn't say. I can't look up the list. I'll tell you what. I'm going to get a web page open with the recipes for these things right next to me. Oh, no. It looks like the chicken nugget is actually a Thorncraft, uh, a Thorncraft food. So what we're going to do is we come back out of there. Now we can make chicken sandwiches at least, so chicken sandwiches. la -dee da Now again, if I press R on this, oh, there we go. Bread slice, cooked chicken, and bread slice. Okay, right, so I'll need some bread. Let's get some bread. 64 slices should do. Now, chicken sandwiches. Oh, yeah, everybody loves chicken sandwiches. So these are going to go down a treat. So I'll just max those out. We've got 32 chicken sandwiches. That should be plenty for our guests. Okay, what next, guys? What else can we do with chicken? Well, not much, it looks like. So, um, so let's move on to some of the beef that should be cooked by now. Oh, yeah, look at that cooked steak. Oh, lovely. And cooked mutton. Oh, yeah. Now, what can we do with cooked mutton and beef? Okay, let's take a look. Now, again, all we can really do is make mutton sandwiches. But what can we do with the beef? Beef. Steak. Oh, we can make steak sandwiches as well, of course. Meat steak. Oh, wow, there's venison as well. Oh. Right, so let's get some bread out of the chest and make ourselves some steak sandwiches and some mutton sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Now, actually, if we press U, we can find out what mutton is used for as well, because there might be extra recipes that we can make with mutton. But no. Oh, let's see. No, it's pretty much just used in mutton sandwiches, no worries. Well, what about steak? What's steak used for? Steak sandwiches? Oh, but also, what's this? Alkahest? A universal solvent. This will destroy anything crafted with it, but to what end? Oh, that's a bit weird. I don't know what that is. That's a bit spooky, actually. Well, okay, again, we can just make sandwiches with the steak as well. So I'm going to make a few steak sandwiches like this. 32 should be okay. And I'll go and get some more bread and we'll make some mutton sandwiches. Oh yeah, we're going through bread slices though. Quite a lot. But it's okay, we do have plenty and plenty of wheat. Oh, I'm going to close the front door here, just in case we get creepered or some rude dude wanders in and wastes us. Right, so mutton's a little bit rarer. We're going to make seven sandwiches, so hopefully we didn't have too many mutton fans at the shindig, but there we go. Chicken, mutton, and steak sandwiches. Oh yeah, we're on our way. Right, so what else can we make in this food mod? Now if I browse through here, will there be a page full of recipes? Let's take a look. Oh, what's this? Nope, that's just venison steak and uh, there must be a food page. Come on, keep going. Hey, hang on a minute. Oh yeah, now this is it. Bananas, oranges, let's see. Strawberry cake, blueberry cake. Smoothies? Oh man, we can make smoothies? It's amazing. Chocolate ice chocolate ice cream? Holy crap, how do you make chocolate? Oh, oh I've got to make some. We've got to have some chocolate ice cream at the shindig. Okay, how to do this? We need vanilla ice cream and chocolate candy? Oh, whoa. How do you make chocolate candy? Hot chocolate bottles become hot chocolate candy. How do you make hot chocolate bottles? Chocolate bottle? in a furnace. How do you get a chocolate bottle? Milk and cocoa. All oh, right. Oh, so you know what that means, guys? That means we need to get on 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 make 
we need to make a milk facility and ASAP because, well, we're going to need a lot of milk to make this chocolate ice cream. Okay. But before we move on to chocolate ice cream, let's take another look and see what else we can make. Because, well, chocolate ice cream is an end game goal. We definitely want some before our shindig, which means we're probably going to make a milk facility next episode, just before the shindig. But we'll get everything for the shindig ready this episode so we can make some chocolate ice cream and go straight into the shindig. Right, carrot pie. How do you make carrot pie? Oh, wow. Wheat, sugar, eggs, and carrots. Oh, well, I've got all of those. So let's go get some wheat. Oh, yeah. Some sugar over here. That should do. Some carrots, I think it was. 64 of those. And what was the last thing? Eggs. Oh, of course. Right. So eggs are over here. Get a few of those. Right. So here we go. I'll just fill this back up with more eggs. More wheat. More sugar and more carrots. Oh yeah, and there we go. 28 carrot pies. That should be plenty to feed our guests to get this back out of the table. Now what else can we make? Let's have a look. Oh, fish and chips. How do you make fish and chips? Cooked fish. Right, well I'm going to go and grab the fish from the fish chest and cook these babies. There we go. Put them in the left furnace. They should cook over time. Now, what were the other rest what were the other ingredients for fish and chips? Obviously a baked potato. Potato. But but how do you get potatoes? Precious. What's what's taters? Eh? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know how to get a potato. This is a bit tricky actually. I'm going to have to find a way to get potatoes, I think, cuz well, we haven't got a potato farm. Oh man, this is this is weird. It's like a, a core farming staple and we don't have it weird okay pumpkin bread oh that sounds nice pumpkin and wheat mix some of that got any pumpkins in here no i don't but i do have a field full of those mother truckers so i'll go and grab some of those oh it's night time but luckily i think my farm is quite well lit now so i don't get too many monsters spawning inside the grounds okay make some more pumpkins do 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 now i'm care i've got to be careful not to trample on the, uh, the on the roots but I can trample on the grass that the, uh, that the pumpkins have made. Oh yeah, there we go. Loads of pumpkins, loads of pumpkin bread. But I'll, get all, I'll, I'll harvest all of these pumpkins because there's definitely going to be a few pumpkin recipes that I want to try. Not just pumpkin bread. But the melons I think we can ignore pretty much because we do have like six stacks of melon slices. Okay, I'm pumpkin. Ooh, oh, that was quick. I'm pumpkined up. So now let's get back to the storehouse and put these into a recipe. Oh, oh no, creeper. Oh, close the door quick, quick, quick. Ah, you can't get in now, can you, loser? <laughs> oh, oh, careful. He might come through the window. Okay, right. Um, Let's see. Pumpkin bread. Now that was wheat. And pumpkins, yeah, okay, cool. So I'll just put some pumpkins there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make ten of these because I need to save my pumpkins. But there we go, ten pumpkin breads, perfect. Now what else do I see up here? Sugar biscuit, apple biscuit, chocolate biscuit. Now again, how do you, we need hot chocolate bottles, which means we need milk. Milk's a key ingredient for chocolate, I guess. Well, milk chocolate, right? So how do you make these other apple and sugar biscuits? Oh right, apples and biscuits together make an apple biscuit, and sugar and biscuits together make a sugar biscuit. Okay, that makes sense. Now what else? Carrot soup. Oh, that looks delicious. Carrots and a bowl. How do you make a bowl? Well, three pieces of wood. Now luckily I brought along some wood anyway, so I'll just make a whole bunch of bowls here. Oh, let's say about 20 of them. Well, no, I can't make 20 actually, but I can make... Oh, no, no, wait, I probably can actually because you make four at a time. Nice, 24 bowls. I'll make even more, actually. There we go. 36. In fact, let's just use all my wood here and make 44. Nice. And the carrot soup was a bowl and carrots above it. And there we go. Oh, carrot soup. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, but it doesn't stack. Oh, it doesn't stack. Okay, I'm going to make four of them then. 
but I can always make more and put them in a chest at the shindig. Right, what else, guys? Let's take a look at some more of this food. Oh, man, isn't this cool? Cooked squid tentacles? Oh, of course, I should be cooking that as well. Get the squid out of there, get them cooking. Oh, this is going to be great. All this stuff looks so tasty. Oh, and the cooked fish are ready. Okay, so I was going to make fish and chips, wasn't I? But I haven't got potato, so I can't. Oh, no, we've been thwarted, guys. Well, okay, carrot, soup, squid. Sushi? How do you make sushi? Wow. That's seeds and raw fish. No! Oh, no! I've cooked all the fish. Oh, no. I'm going to have to get my rod and I'm going to have to go and catch some more fish. Because I know Lewis is a big, big sushi fan. Of course, peach juice, pear juice, cherry juice, and orange juice, and banana smoothie. How do you make these things? Just a glass bottle and uh, and some ju and some fruit. Okay, how much fruit have I got? Because I'm not sure I really have enough fruit to make these. I can make an orange smoothie, I guess, orange juice, and I can probably make a blueberry juice or a blueberry smoothie. Maybe a melon smoothie as well, actually, but I don't think that's on the list. Carrot juice, maybe. Oh, carrot juice is just a bottle and some carrots, and I've got some bottles up here. I think I should do. I'm going to put some bowls back in there because it looks like I've already got plenty of bowls. I'll take 32 bottles. And I will put some carrots into this bad boy. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, carrot juice. Oh, this looks so delicious. Right, well, we've got a whole bunch of food now. Now, what else is in this list? Because this can't be all the food that's in the mod pack, right? Let's take a look at previous. Oh, no, it's not. Look at this. Mutton sandwiches, magic, magic cake? How do you make a magic cake? Ah, oh, golden apples, which we don't actually have any of. But how do you get a golden apple? Oh, right, apple and blocks of gold? Wow, that's expensive. 